your favorite recipe Simply Food You should know by now that you're in for a treat Simply Food There's no other channel where you'd rather be Simply Food Sing for pasta, cakes, and pies Sing and laugh and even cry Like, like and share and hit subscribe Simply Food by T.Y. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Simply Food by TY, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a classic potato salad, okay? Now, I'm gonna need y'all to pay attention because y'all know, y'all cannot be eating everybody's potato salad, but I bet you you can eat mine. So let's jump right into it. First things first, my potato salad, I put eggs in mine, okay? And as I've said before, the best way to make eggs is to always make sure you put in about a tablespoon or so of baking soda because it'll always help remove the membrane from the egg itself. Boil those off for about 10 to 12 minutes, sit those to the side. Let's talk about the potatoes. Now, I like to use russet potatoes, of course, when I make my potato salad. And, you know, back in the day, it seemed like people, when they made their potato salad, they would just put the potatoes directly in the water and then they would peel them afterwards. I don't like to do that because I want to make sure that I'm getting all of my potatoes sliced evenly and so that I can get them into the size that I want them to be when it comes down time to serving them. Because I find when you try to cut potatoes when they're hot, they just turn into mush. This way, they're already the size that I want them to be and they're all cut the same way, which is very, very important because in hindsight, you know, when you go to put these in the water, you want them to all to relatively be the same size so that they cook at the same time. One of the biggest issues with people's potato salad is either that number one, the potatoes are not fully cooked, or number two, they are overcooked and they are pretty much serving you mashed potatoes with mayonnaise in it. And ain't nobody got time for that. This way, you can have them all cut at the same size, which means you can cook them at the same time and then you can really keep an eye on it so that you can make sure that you do not overcook your potatoes. One of the main things that a lot of people also don't do, which is kind of disgusting, is people ain't washing their damn potatoes, okay? Now, I peel, before I even peeled my potatoes, I washed them off, but now that I've sliced them, got them to the size that I want them to be, I'm running them under nicely, nice cold cold water just to make sure you know that they're extra clean you want to get all of that dirt off you have to remember potatoes are growing from the ground and they are absolutely filthy okay so if you ever eaten somebody potato salad that ain't that ain't salt that you crunching on that's sand and dirt <laughs> now look let me tell y'all something one thing that people need to start doing is make sure you are salting your water. That is a crucial step in making good potato salad. And the reason why is if you salt your water properly, that means that you don't have to add as much salt later on on the tail end when we go to make the potato salad dressing. What happens is, is people aren't salting the water. So when the potatoes are done cooking, the potatoes are bland. And that's why people overcompensate and add in a bunch of unnecessary necessary seasonings because the potatoes are bland by salting it you're already going to start off with a hit okay so i cooked mine for roughly i set my timer for about 13 minutes i would say set your timer for about 13 minutes of course depending upon how many potatoes you're cooking uh but you want them to be fork tender okay you do not want to overcook them or they are going to turn into mashed potatoes, okay? Now, the next thing I like to do, like I said, because I make, um, I put eggs in mine, I also make sure that as soon as my eggs are done, I put them in cold water. Now, as you can see, I have an ice pack sitting inside of a container of water just because, child, I ain't feeling like wasting none of my good ice. So I'm gonna pour off these, um, the water off of these eggs and then sit those in there and then go ahead and immediately peel them. Like I said, the baking soda truly helps you um, remove the membrane from the egg, which makes it really easy to peel. Now, one thing that I prefer to do is to make sure that your potatoes are almost at room temperature. Please stop putting mayonnaise on hot potatoes. That's the reason why people's potato salads become runny and loose. Let those potatoes kind of cool off just a bit. Let's talk about the dressing. So I am going to be adding in some Hellman's mayonnaise. I either always use Hellman's or Duke's. If you can get your hands on Duke's, absolutely use Duke's. Do not, I repeat, do not, eh, 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 do not use Miracle Whip 
for potato salad, okay? Stop it with the foolishness. So we're gonna put in two full cups of mayonnaise. Now for all of the potatoes that I've cut up, which was roughly about seven or eight large rusted potatoes, I'm only really gonna need about two cups of mayonnaise. And if I feel like I need to add in some more, it'll probably be just about a spoonful or so on the very tail end, but that's it. You don't want your potato salad to be swimming. Let's talk about mustard. So oftentimes people go a bit out of control with the mustard, okay? I'm only gonna be adding in literally a half a tablespoon of mustard. And that is it, my friend. You don't need no more damn mustard. Your potato salad should not be bright yellow. The same thing goes for the sweet relish. A lot of people don't like potato salad, I feel, because sometimes it's really jam-packed with way too many damn pickles and all that foolishness. And you just, you just don't need it. So as you can see, I put in a very, very small amount of sweet relish as well. Celery seed is something that I love in mine. So I put a tablespoon of celery seed. I put Put in a half a teaspoon of onion powder. I put in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm also gonna put in some paprika as well. And then I put in two tablespoons of sugar. Now I'm gonna tell you something right now for those of you that are gonna think, oh my God, that potato salad is gonna be way too sweet. Trust me, it's not, don't worry. It's what simply, pretty much what that sugar is gonna do is help balance out the saltiness from the potatoes that were salted in the water. And you know, by all means, if you want, you can always adjust the sugar. You do not have to put as much as I did. That is completely fine. Now, what I'm gonna start to do now is start to gradually start to add in um, our dressing for the potato salad itself. Uh, you don't want your potato salad to be runny. You want it to be nice and thick. And as you can see, you guys, you didn't see me chopping up onions and green peppers and all of that. I'm gonna tell you, one of the key key things uh, when it comes to making potato salad is that you have to understand that potato salad is supposed to go with everything else that's on the plate. And so when you start adding in cranberries and raisins and green peppers and onions and blah, 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 you are doing too much. Potato salad, in, in hindsight, the way I like to say it should be nice and basic so that when you take a bite of that rib, the potato salad goes right with it. When you take a bite of that hot dog, the potato salad goes right with it. You know what I mean? mean it's not supposed to be thrown it's not supposed to throw off your palate if it has a bunch of foolishness in it so you know when you add in peppers and cayenne pepper and and all that stuff you're just doing too much now I'm starting to crush in my eggs. Um, now, you know, some people like a lot of eggs in theirs. For me, for the amount of potatoes that I've cooked, this is the perfect amount. Um, and I don't know what it is about potato salad, but sometimes, honey, I feel like you got to get in there with your hands and give it a good old mix around. At this point, of course, you can taste it for salt and pepper to see if you would like to adjust it. But that's pretty much it, you guys. There's not much to make a potato salad. As I said, it's making sure, number one, that you're not overcooking your potatoes making sure that you are salting the water so that the potatoes are already seasoned and making sure that it is not too loose and runny. As you can see, this texture is nice and creamy, but still nice and firm. You don't want it to be loose. Put it in the refrigerator, make sure it's nice and cold. Stop serving hot and warm potato salad. Top it with some paprika, honey, and you have made yourself some delicious potato salad. It's just that simple. Look, if you are new to my channel, welcome to Simply Food by TY. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, well, y'all babies know I love y'all so much and as always y'all baby stay cute and take care and don't forget don't you put no damn miracle whip in this potato salad mm -hmm. slaying in the kitchen simply food by ty we hope that you enjoyed it simply food by ty if you haven't took the time make sure you subscribe thanks for watching thanks for watching thanks for watching simply